All right, you guys, welcome to Horoscope here on Thursday, and it is Indie Week. Whew, this was a good one. I decided to watch 2008's Splinter. Now, I had, you know, I had read mixed things about it, but overall, I thought it was, it was a fun, fun movie. Now, it is, uh, you can get it on DVD and Blu-ray. It's out by Magnet entertainment magnet pictures i don't know magnet something looking to me i don't know like you know and uh, it stars a whole bunch of people that you've seen in other things i mean to be honest it's there's no like superstar in it the one person that everyone may know is jill wagner from uh wipeout she's like the female correspondent sweet yeah and you know what all of the acting in the movie was very good it, it wasn't cheesy. It wasn't over the top. It was, it was, the acting was fine. It, okay, so it's about this, this younger couple. They are going to go camping for their anniversary. And, you know, things didn't quite work out. The tent broke, blah, blah. They're going to go stay at a motel. On their way out of town, this, this, yeah, this other younger girl is hitchhiking. She doesn't look quite right. Well, it turns out they get carjacked and then taken hostage by this other couple. And they're wanted by the law. So they're, they're hijacked. Turns out, down even further down the road, the car breaks down and they stop at this kind of rural gas station. They go and they're going to go get some stuff, whatnot. And there's, there's no gas attendant. There's no one in the whole place. So the hijackers, the female hijacker, she goes to the bathroom and she finds the, the, um, the, what's it called? The gas station attendant. And he's in there messed up. He is so messed up. It's like he's part, it's like he looks like part zombie, part, uh, infected. Uh, he just looks gross and he's all kind of contorted and he's got these, like prickly spikes coming out of him or splinters, large splinters that they kind of look like. And so the girlfriend wakes out, but in the process of doing so, she gets infected by the gas attendant because he comes out. So now the two of them are infected and the three, so the remaining three are in the gas station. What? What's so funny? I'm just, I'm just, Painting a visual in my head as you describe it. Yeah, okay, so paint the visual. So the remaining three are in the gas station, and they're freaking out. They don't know what the hell's going on. But we come to discover that the male hijacker has also been infected, but <clears throat> his infection is going slower. <laughs> now, a police officer shows up at the door, and the everyone's like, no, go, leave, you're blah, 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 there's, there's gross people out there. So even the hostages are telling them to leave? Yeah, even the hostage. yeah, everyone, because now they're working together. And so, you know, they're telling them, please leave. No, the officer gets basically chopped in half. By who? By the infected people. Because it's kind of like, the ones who are infected, it's kind of biological in a way where they, they really, you have to fart? Were they infected, they need to kind of feed off of something, so they're constantly looking for a food source. Um, you have one scene, so the guy that's infected in the gas station, it's starting to go up his arm, and his arm is just contorting, and then it breaks in half. Oh, it's messed up. And he's like, you got to cut the arm off. So the guy, the other guy, he gets a... Uh, what did he get? Oh, a box cutter. He gets a box cutter and first cuts all the flesh, right? He cuts all the flesh. He's like, I can't get the bone with this box cutter. Really? Yes. So he gets a cinder block and then puts the guy's arm out and just smashes the cinder block down and then the arm comes off. <laughs> so I guess the guy's fine after that. He didn't pass out or anything. I, I'm not quite sure how, but the, we suspend belief. Uh, but they figure out that the, the people who are infected, it, it, it they, uh, they only attack those 
who are who are warm or who are warm blooded. It's a warm source of nutrition. They won't go where it's cold. And so I won't spoil the end. They figure out how to get, you know, how to get out of the situation. And I, you know, it's it's do they, smart. Do they hide in the ice box and drink all the beer? They hide in the ice box, and they do have a couple beers, but not all the beers. I mean, it's a gas station, so you know, they dive. They drink all that. But see, look at. I didn't even watch the movie. Right. And that's what I would do. Well, okay, but <laughs> they had to get out of there. They figured out a way to get out. That's what I mean. Did they just hang out till the store opened? Store opened by whom? Well, in the daytime, doesn't someone stop for gas? Doesn't well, someone yeah, go but to the gas station? I'm sure, but, you know, someone would come and then they would get infected. And then on the sea... Oh, here's what I forgot to mention. Couldn't they make a, a body suit out of beer cans that were ice cold and just slowly walk away? Well, what they did here, I'll spoil a little bit of it. The, the guy, he, he packed himself in ice, right? Because he was a smart... He was like a, 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 col a college smart guy. And he laid on all these packs of ice... Until his temperature went down to almost death. Whatever the death temperature is, he was like right above it. And then he walked out. So he walked? <laughs> he walked out after he that. He hypothermically walked out? Yes, he hypothermically walked out. I mean, he was kind of like, he was shaking and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but he made, but oh, okay. So, it, you know, we don't find out the origin of the creature that was first infected, like how it first started to spread. But we do see at the beginning of the movie there was a sign, and it said, Keep out uh, mid-state oil experimental extraction. So it was some sort of experiment that the state was doing. So they were fracking. They were fracking. And in the process, they got fracked. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was suspenseful. It, was, it really wasn't cheesy. There's more farts. Uh, the practical effects were good. There were some CGI effects, and that was okay because they were good too. Um, you know, I was engaged the whole time with the movie and with the story, uh, and it moved at a good clip. I, I really liked it. It was a it was a good time. It was and oh, and you know what else I appreciated was it was a strong female lead. Because one of the things I it just bothers me is when there's a female in the movie and she just keeps tripping and falling and ah and go you know the dumb helpless the dumb helpless woman yes i don't like the it's dumb it's part woman. of the formula i know it is but this one i liked it was a nice change oh i'm okay with the change yeah i'm just saying it's that's how i predicted that you know yeah it doesn't take much to write the formula no I really wish I had gotten you on camera, too, in this. No, I'm the mystery guest. You're mystery guest. Okay. So, anyways, that is Splinter, 2008 Splinter. Uh, it, you know, look it up. Try to find it. See if it's on Netflix. Because it's a good time. It's a good watch. Uh, so, thanks for joining us here on Horoscope for Thursday. Uh, oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. That just peeped out. The the kettle and the pot. Isn't there some saying? Mm-mm. -mm. I don't know. Check out everyone did, else's videos. Did you get some splinter in you? I, uh-oh. Watch out. All right, you guys, take care, and I'll see you next week.